Okay, okay, it's gone, then. Go off and get more money from more okay, then, you know? Yeah. Can I ask you, from a drug user's perspective, do you think it would, it would be better if drugs were legal and, and and dispensed by the state and not methadone, but the actual drug that you use? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. 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 That would be... Uh, yeah, um, I, I, as I said, it would not be the government dying, by the way, the cops all the time. Do you, do you think, though, that the fact that drugs are illegal leads to more crime or, or the use of guns with drug dealing? Or, like, like, there's no guns in the methadone game. Do you think if heroin was dispersed by the state that it, it would mean that the people who are selling it now wouldn't have a job to go to and yeah. it would solve the violent crime it's issues? Solved, it's solving an awful lot of crime issues. So oh, it's yeah. solving an awful lot of crime because there'll be no one making a profit out of them, so It'd be gone, there'd be no, no one standing on the streets or anything anymore after that, you know? <laughs> Have you ever had a gun pulled on you or, or, or seen guns used in drug deals? Or seen guns used yeah. in drug deals. <laughs> do you think it's fair to say that the distribution of heroin and, and violent crime go hand in hand from a, a dealer's perspective? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are users violent? Well, they can be, you know. All depends. They can be for you. It all depends on the situation at the time, you know. Uh, so what, what will you do? Like, what, what's your hopes for the future? What do you want to do? Or, or do I you, want to get the there? fuck out of this country quick before it blows up into a storm of shit. And where, where would you like to go? Anywhere at all. Somewhere hot. You know. I can, I can see it coming. You know, people are killing people for nothing now. Mm-hmm. You owe gay 500 euros, he's going to put a bullet in your head if you don't pay him. Mm-hmm. Would you say if I owe 500 euros, what kind of guy would put a bullet in me for 500 euros? I oh, believe you me, it can but, come a lot cheaper. But, but, but like, wait, wait, when you say that, typically, would that be a drug debt or would so, it be? So somebody could put a mark in your face from there to yeah. there for 50 euros. Cheers. Yeah. So don't... You know, believe you me, that's what it's got to. It's a fucking disgrace, that's what it is, you know. And guards will lift you on the word of anybody else by yourself. Would you have, like, would the guards describe you as a person who's well known to them or they've had dealings with you? Oh, I'm well known to them, alright. I'm well known to them as a fucking, do you think I'm an agent? You know, well, no. Nah. <laughs> uh, have, have you spent time in, in the prison system in this yes, country? Yes, I have, yeah. Uh, what do you make of it? Did you come out better or worse? It was a fucking disgrace what happened to me in there, yeah. That's all I have to say. A 43 year old man, I was locked up in the, this prison system where people knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. You know, the bullying situation started, my blood pressure went up to from 100 and from. Your blood pressure should be 80, or no, 120 over 80. My blood pressure went to oh, 205 over uh, 117. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I should be dead without a shadow of doubt, but I can still feel the damage. I can feel it when I walk too much, when I stress too much, whenever, whenever it happens. I want to ask you, do you think any of the people who have walked by, even while we're doing this, do you think any of them th- th- acknowledge your situation? Or? I'm going to tell you this here now. I started getting a little bit uh, angry before you came. I'll tell you what, what I've been shouting. I've been shouting things like, I'm a human being, you know, you can answer. You know, things like that, because they were just ignoring me. Anyway, uh, I find people are very ignorant, and the people who aren't ignorant are very nice, extremely nice. You know, there's no, there's no in between. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you think causes that reaction? They just don't understand it, or they, no, they feel I what they don't know, or I find if you, I'll put it this way: if you were in my shoes, would you walk by you? No, absolutely. I, I see me make money and walk down Grafton Street and get into the other bus. Mm-hmm. I woke up. I'm always boasting about this. Like, I woke up three weeks ago, sleeping rough, and I got a ten at the Temple Street Children's Hospital. You know, that's me. Other homeless people aren't like that. 
Yeah, am I trying to say I'm bad on your homes to go? Yeah. And a way like yeah, I'm being back here. And it's sad like that I have to be that way. And it's wrong to be that way. You don't give them boast about it. But because I'm in a homeless situ situation on the street, it is a nice wee thing to mention then again to let people know that you're not, you're not, you're not a bad fella. Every time I play the whistle and get talking to people outside a bar or whatever, you couldn't be homeless. How come you're homeless? I mean, you couldn't be homeless or else, how come you're homeless? You're not like the rest of them, you're different. But what's and your answer to that? My answer is that, uh, thanks. That's all I can say, because I'm not going to start getting into one and saying, oh, I, I find what the problem is, I've seen homeless people going, it's for a bit of change, and the guy walking on, they're going, have a nice day, all the best, thinking the guy's going to turn back and give something. But when the guy decides to walk on further, Go on, you old you old you 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 And there's no need for that. T t tell me that you mentioned that you've been homeless this time for two years, four months, but in the past it had happened as well. But before your experience in Galway, what was the cause of you ended up homeless? Lack of love. Lack of love. The family uh, were very uh, selfish in a way. And a lot of it, it, would you say lack of love? Was that concerning things such as were you an addict at the time, or were you behaving in a way that no, I wasn't. There, there was, there was no, I just find it that I'd, that, that I'd been off the scene that long. That I just didn't feel welcome around the family. Okay. You know what I mean? I have a brother who's got a two-bedroom flat, and he's just went a bit weird. He's that used to living on his own that when somebody comes to stay with him he can't sleep knowing there's somebody else in the house. Now that is weirdness, mm -hmm. you know. Alright. Yeah, Brian starts coming over to you know. As you know, by the way, that as every minute passes, by the way, you get sick and sick and sick and sick again. And when you're sick, by the way, you feel like, you feel like you're coming out of the fridge freezer, don't you? Is that where you're shivering? Are you just cold? I'm just cold at the moment. Okay. If you were, say, one of these people walking by, if you weren't in your present situation, how do you think you'd look towards lads like yourself? I wouldn't look at them any different than myself, to be honest with you. Yeah, it would be You think that's because you've been in that situation and you know, or, or because do you think there's a lack of education about drug use and homelessness? There's a lack of education there in your is, homes. Yeah, yeah, there is, yeah. Because it's so easy to get well.